Hello, welcome to another edition of Brews with the Crew. As always, I'm Diego. This is Novella, that is Cruz, and this is a beer. It's not. Oh. It's a green <laughs> can. It's got a lovely little critter on it. Uh, Novella, please tell us what we're about to... It's a fat beaver. It's not a beaver. Shake, <laughs> shake and drink. So we're not shaking these either. It's fat a cider, woodchuck. not a beer. Oh. But we're still not shaking them. Shake them. Still not shaking Before them. Before you drink them. What is this all over the can? What is I'm not really sure. There's no glue on that one. It's ick. It, it made a leak. From one, the fat woodchuck. One of the... Oh. So we got fat woodchuck, beef. hard cider. <laughs> Ooh. No. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to tell people what we're having. We're going to have the Granny Smith Tart Green Apple version. Huh? This is a 5% alcohol by volume. Oh, it is gluten-free, as is all of their apple ciders, because... Yeah. They're made of woodchucks. They're made of not, there's no woodchuck in this. If there is, <laughs> there better not be no woodchuck in there. <laughs> it's made out of woodchuck excrement. That's what's all over the outside of the can. Oh, okay. So, so this is just canning. full of uh, apparently woodchuck excrement. I don't, Granny Smith's woodchuck. It should just be made out of 100% natural U.S. grown green apples. <laughs> that is what they said. They may be lying. It may be full of Apparently jizz. MSG. Uh, MSG. I don't want to do this. <laughs> well, you're the one who said it. You should have said it. I said woodchuck and Granny Smith. I said excrement, not jizz. Yeah, you you, well, you crossed the line, ma'am. My bad. Too much. Uh, I don't think that's, that's too much. This is from Vermont. They don't act like that up there. Over there. Wherever they are. Yeah, they're up. Up and to the right of us. They're nice. Pour them up. I think this is our first cider, our first brew that isn't a regular beer, which is fine. We are brews with a crew. So who knows what else we might find on here one day. It's not always beer. It will always be alcoholic, though. Maybe not. No. No, that's 100%. Oh, we can only have alcoholic beverages? Yeah, like, what are we going to do? The next edition of Brews with the Crew, we're we going to test well, taste the grape old juice. duels. Oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, you can brew tea. We can make nice teas that we can get, like, from all over the world. <gasps> then we can put some alcohol in them. Granny Smith's Fine. beaver. Let's get back to it. <laughs> it's not a beaver. It's a woodchuck. Same thing. Yeah, it's a, they bite wood and make dams. They make dams. <laughs> <laughs> the damn woodchuck. Well, it looks like a cider. Yeah, it looks like apple juice. It looks like, well. Can I, can I feed this to the kids when they get a little? Well, well <laughs> it's, they're getting a little unruly. We're going to give them the apple juice. Just don't ever have this sitting down beside theirs and someone get confused, that's for sure. But it's got a good smell. Smells like apples. You want to guess it. He can't smell it. Smells it. like apples. Well, I can smell the, <laughs> you can smell the apples, Novella. <laughs> I smell it. It's good and tart. No carbonation. You can tell it's going to be the good, sour, green apples. Oh. No, I thought we weren't no jizz. Cool. Real good. I smell a little bit. Oh, man. You know what would be great? Ooh. Is if, those, if these are really, really cold. Well. But someone left them on the floor. There's nothing wrong with warm cider. <laughs> Or if you want to make it all the way like warm. A lot, nice warm cider. Apple pie. Look, I drink warm apple juice all the time. Sometimes his yeah. kids leave sippy cups around. For days. And I get, for days. For days. I, I get thirsty in the middle of the night. Okay. The little assholes drink all the apple juice. I just find the remnants. Inconsiderate assholes. Oh, those are my kids. <laughs> <laughs> like their father. Yeah, there we go. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I do think, not this one particularly, because obviously Granny Smith's kind of sour. It's not like overly tart or anything. But if they do have a more of a spicy seasonal one, that would be great throw in a pot to have it warm. Like actual, actual taco pot. cider. Yeah, throw in the pot. Cooking pot. No, throw it in a pot. And I put pot in it. So would you open the can or you just throw the can in the pot? Just the whole can. What you do you, is Then you, you shake it and put the whole can in the pot. You put a dent right yep. here. Yep. And then you poke holes. Yep. And you put weed. Mm -hmm. And then you... Like that. Would you shove it into the chicken though? Chicken? You're making chicken? What is going on with you? Have you already smoked? Because you sound really confused. Um, You're making a chidurkin with. Actually, that probably wouldn't be bad. That's we see? eat in beer see? cans. I know what you're talking about. That's not what I was talking about, but it's okay. 
I got confused by the pot. Save that one for later. And then, yeah, we could definitely put that <laughs> to good use. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Honestly, for it being Granny Smith, I kind of thought it'd be a little more sour because it's going to be so much of it. But also, I guess maybe after you've went through the process of making it into a cider, maybe it took off some of that tartness. But it is still pretty tart. It makes you clench it a little bit back here. But it's nice and sweet. It's crisp. crisp. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like you guys are almost finishing each other's words. Oh, sentences. <laughs> I you were say Jim sandwich. Belushi. Sandwiches. 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 <laughs> Finish your review. You you, you started really excited to tell about how crisp it is. I just wanted to say crisps. <laughs> crisps. It's so crisp. So crisp. When it touches my lips. Mmm. <laughs> Real fat lips. So that was basically my review. <laughs> Which is score you didn't get the score. <laughs> I'm crisp. done now. All right, I'm done. <laughs> crisp. See you. Bye. Six <laughs> out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> What? Give it a score. Oh my god, leave me alone. Pick a score. Okay, that's... Every time. It's always this one. You scared me out it's of it. not like I asked you to give me one actor you bring back from the <laughs> dead to make movies. I'm gonna give it... I'm gonna give it a seven. I've had other ciders that I like a lot more, but I think this is the first green one I've had. So, I don't really have a lot to compare it to, but I think it's really good. Uh, you're super crushable for 5%. You're going to have fun real fast. How much were these? Uh, this was $11 for a six-pack. One, two, three, four, six-pack. One, two, three, four, six-pack. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I get, I'll give my review. Um, <laughs> it's very crisp. You know, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, you think it's, 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 it's crisp. It's crisp. Right? It's yeah, crisp. It's crisp. Would you agree? Yeah. It's crisp. <laughs> I would I would like for it to be a little colder. I just pulled it out of the cooler <laughs> on my local local grocery store, huh? But then Novella didn't off pick it up the off ground. the ground yeah. when I put it there for her to pick it up. She didn't. At no <laughs> so point. It's, it's Why did would you stop warm. to put it down? Why would you not just continue carrying it to the fridge? It because makes no sense I to figured me. you were gonna do what you do with them and study the can and do the geometry on the can and the crispness and then this that and the other uh, <laughs> it's a good beer it, it could be a little bit colder uh it's a good cider excuse me five percent it'd probably get you fucked up in time if you drink the whole six pack but you could definitely put the six pack pack down uh i like it i like it like i said 11 bucks for a six pack um i'm gonna go i'm gonna go seven out of ten we didn't read the or the description, which is unfortunate because I wish we would have. We'd have known ahead of time that this is made with Granny Smith apples from a crisp taste that finishes the no, day. Not. <laughs> it does. Well, yeah, it mentions apples. It's got to say crisp. Yeah, it's Granny Smith. So we didn't steal the words. We were articulating ourselves. The crisp it just, taste just happens to be crisp. that finishes tart and tangy, mm. just like I like my Granny Smiths. Okay. I find this 100% Granny Smith apple crafted cider crisp and tangy with a finish, uh, tart finish. I love that you came up with that all on your own. That's good. That's a good, that's a good <laughs> Thank review. Thank you. That's one of your better reviews. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm, I'm along with these two. It's not really wowing me, but what I do like about it is the fact that it's so easy. It's really easily drinkable. Yeah. You could crush these things so quick, really quick. Mm -hmm. so, you made mistake for actual yeah, apple juice. This is like around. your, this is like your typical, oh my god, Becky, I'm so drunk kind of beer, <laughs> you know? Because Becky's not used to drinking Miller Lights or Natural Lights. She's gonna pound these things because it's just like Christmas. And look at it, it's a cute beaver, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. So I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. Yeah, sweet and sugary. So if you're drinking these hard and fast like you do, you know, Miller Lights. It's gonna hit you real fast. You're gonna get drunk, dehydrated, and then yes. throw up, possibly even shit your pants. Yeah, apples are a natural diuretic. And if you're a real trip, you might get laid. <laughs> get out of here. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Granny Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I will you say fat beavers everywhere. Oh. I will say uh, one um, aside from the like con, like or not con pro, um, is that it's not super sugary and sweet like a yeah. lot of ciders That's are. Yeah, oh my gosh, is. sometimes they're just so sugary. I'll get in the diabetic coma before I actually get drunk. This Wait. is not way too sweet. You got the betas? You can if you drink too much Wait, sugar. You have the betas? No. Oh, okay. It was a 
I didn't know how you go from not having the beatus to straight to a coma. I don't think you know. <laughs> you missed a step. Beaver That's just coma. being dramatic. Beaver coma? Beaver coma. Been there. Oh, that's no fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> Go to our website, <laughs> theasylum.productions. That's going to take you to everything that we do, all the different shows we do. We also have merchandise on there. You can buy some merch. Buy your sweetheart a nice hoodie. Wintertime's right around the corner. Fall's here. We didn't get a much of a summer out here in the south. What? What? What is that wrong? <laughs> no. We didn't get a summer. No summer. We're right into fall. It's 50 degrees yesterday when I woke up. I didn't like that. Cry about it. I'm going to a little bit. <laughs> I want to go to the beach. <laughs> Novella, please send them to our Patreon. The what? Patreon. <laughs> go to the patreon.com slash the Assigned Productions. You'll see our three different tiers available for you to choose from. Three. A three, a five, and a ten dollar. And each of those are going to come with different levels of rewards. However much you want to spend, so the more you get. You can also make your own custom pledge, whether that be a dollar, anything you want to donate helps. It helps us do more of this, better this, and all the other shows that we have available for you as well. Good job. That's it. That's it. That's going to wrap it up for us here in Brews with the Crew. Um, yeah, it's been another good show. Whose week is it next week? Cruise. It's going to be a good one until the next next week, which at times we'll just be drinking nasty lagers again. I've only brought one logger up in here. His you don't name, even know. His we name had. was Daryl, and he had beautiful brown eyes. <laughs> that is Daryl.